All right, welcome back family. So we're gonna do a little anatomy lesson today. So there are some basics about Botox that I think people don't understand. So one basic thing is, will Botox lift my eyebrows or drop my eyebrows? And it can really do either. Uh, would you go ahead and please scrunch your eyebrows down? Perfect. So here we're seeing our patient activate the muscles that pull the eyebrow down. These are the corrugator muscles. Go ahead and squint on the sides. So here we're activating now the orbicularis oculi, which is a circular muscle that goes around the eye. When this muscle contracts, it actually pulls the side of the eyebrow down. So the orbicularis oculi pulls the side of the brow down. The corrugators in the middle here, scrunch down please again, pull the middle of the eyebrows down. So Botox relaxes muscles. If I relax these muscles and these muscles, which pull the brow down, the brow is going to come up. There's a big muscle across the forehead. Lift your eyebrows up real high, up, yep, perfect. So this muscle lifts the brow up. Now, if I were to Botox really low on this muscle, yes, then I can basically prevent the brow from coming up. But here we're, we wanna create a nice arch to the brow, which is um, a very feminine and youthful look to the eyebrow, so we're not gonna treat these lines. Doesn't mean I don't sometimes. There are people who have lines across their forehead, and they do wanna treat that muscle. So it's not that you can't, but here we're, we're trying to achieve something very specific. We're trying to raise the brows and create a nice arch. So I'm not gonna touch that muscle today. We'll focus on the other ones. Botox usually takes about two to three days to kind of kick in. So we won't see results from this right away. It's not like once I'm finished, I'll be able to show you any sort of before and after. It'll look pretty much the same. Um, so we're gonna start with the crow's feet or the orbicularis oculi, which again is a circular muscle around the sides. This muscle pulls the brow down. Go ahead and squint again, please. Good, and relax. Perfect, so you're gonna feel one pinch here. Doing okay? Yes. Perfect, good. So that's one part of the muscle. Some people will treat four parts of the muscle. I try to do it in two spots. So that one was addressing the sort of upper and outer part of the muscle. I'm now gonna address a slightly lower part of the muscle. So squint again, please. Good, and relax. And we always have patients move the muscles right before we do the treatment because everyone's muscles are a little bit different. So I usually will do the opposite side first, meaning next I'll go to the orbicularis next. I'm going to hold pressure there for just a minute. So this is the orbicularis oculi again. Squint please and relax. Perfect. So this upper part of the muscle in particular is really the one that pulls the brow down. The lower part doesn't pull down so much, but it creates wrinkles under the eye. So we want to treat both parts of the muscle. And I'm going to do one more. Doing okay? Yes. Oh, these little bumps? Uh, within an hour. Sometimes it may take a couple hours, but that goes away pretty quickly. So next we're gonna treat the, um, we're gonna treat the corrugators and procerus. Now this muscle is different in everyone, just meaning the length of it. Um, for some people, the muscle may stop here. Other people, it may go a little bit further out. So you really have to see the muscle in action. Yeah, because there are a bunch of nerves that come out right into this muscle. 
So unfortunately, you know that you're in the right spot when you're feeling it more. And scrunch down again and relax. And here I can feel a big part of the muscle on the side. And again, this muscle is pulling the eyebrow down. So now I'm treating the procerus muscle, which is a muscle right between the eyebrows. And then lastly, we'll get the other corrugator muscle. So scrunch down again, please. Good and relax. And once again, these muscles, like the ones on the side, pull down. So you can see sometimes like little tiny little uh, bumps or a little bit of swelling here. That usually goes down within, if not an hour, a couple hours, certainly by the next morning. So those are pretty minor. Now the effects though can take about two to three days, even up to a week to see the full results. Scrunch down again and relax. So a couple rules for right after a Botox treatment. One is don't work out the first 24 hours. And the other is to not lie flat for the first four hours. Well, the theory about not working out is that, you know, if your blood pressure and heart rate get up, theoretically you could sort of wash the Botox out of the area that you're trying to treat. So it's not like it would cause any real complication or side effect. It's just that you might potentially waste some of your Botox, and who would want to waste Botox? And that's it. So again, we've treated the sides here, we've treated the middle here, all of these muscles pull down, so when they're relaxed, brow's gonna come up. This muscle, the frontalis muscle, I've not touched today, so this will still activate and work to lift the brows up, creating that nice pretty arch. All right, well, hopefully you found that informative Again, just some basics about Botox not everyone understands. If you want to check out more, subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the like button, and hope to see you again soon. Thank you.